Well, I'm going to be here based in uh, Ottawa, uh, supervising all the activity of the club and uh, try to lead uh, the Athletic Ottawa uh, on a full operation. We describe our international expansion strategy like uh, 10 years ago when we started working uh, worldwide. And always North America was in our plans. So right now it's a reality and uh, it's a huge uh, country with a big potential and uh, we want to contribute uh, as well. I've been involved in the club uh, since almost uh, four years and uh, basically working with all our international franchises. We are collaborating with a premier club in Israel and uh, premiership, uh, Apo El Beersheba is the name of the club. Another one in the Indian Super League, uh, Jam Shepard FC. We've been there before uh, with uh, ATK with a little bit of uh, success because uh, on three seasons we won two titles and uh, we are also collaborating with uh, Dalian Jifan in the Chinese Super League. We own a club also in uh, France, uh, Lens FC, and uh, our club in Mexico that is also owned by Atletico. Every club is different. Uh, it is true that soccer is similar, you play with a ball, but uh, you need to be flexible and adapt to every country because the level is different, the culture is different, the supporters are different. One of the things that we notice is, for example, that the supporters uh, in North America are completely different, for example, to the ones in Spain or to the ones in India or China. So we need to be very flexible and uh, to know what they want, uh, to know what they feel and uh, to really be part of it. I think that the next weeks are going to be uh, critical for us in order to start signing players. Uh, we have um, the first date uh, in mind uh, is uh, uh, no, March 1st because uh, we plan to start the preseason. We want it, uh, or we are going to try to make it in Spain to create the, the bond and that connection from the very first day with Atletico de Madrid. We want the players can feel part of the, the club uh, to play like a friendly game with our guys on the first team, to know our stadium, to train our facilities. So really, uh, we are not just uh, launching a club in Ottawa, we are launching an, an Atletico de Madrid club and we really want to build uh, that, uh, that connection between uh, both countries. It's a key factor and uh, I think it's uh, very important not just uh, to bring here a, a soccer team, just to bring our philosophy, as uh, Miguel said, uh, our vision, our values, uh, all, that, uh, all that kind of things that uh, made Atletico what it is right now. Uh, we are a century club uh, with a lot of history and uh, we want to share it with, uh, with the country. I think that is one of the most important things in every project that we take internationally. Uh, Atletico de Madrid currently has the biggest federated academy in Europe. We have uh, more than 82 teams competing in Madrid under the Atletico de Madrid flag and uh, more than 1,800 players and uh, is one of the main characteristics of Atletico de Madrid. If you see our first team, for example, in every starting eleven, between the 50 and the 40 percent of the players of the every starting level are players uh, born and raised in the academy. Uh, Coque, Saúl, uh, Thomas, uh, in the past Lucas, Fernando Torres, Gabi, uh, and a lot of them, uh, David De Gea, who is the goalkeeper of uh, Manchester United, so that's what is Atletico and uh, we want to bring this expertise and, and this uh, form of work here also. Will there be academy, an academy set up here in Ottawa? Not at the beginning, uh, but uh, I think that in a, in a very close future uh, we will have it because uh, it's very important for us uh, not just work on the professional side, to work also with the kids and to, re to really live like a legacy and a footprint in the, in the city. We want to be optimistic, but at the same time realistic. So uh, this year I think is going to be very tough because uh, we have nothing yet. When I say nothing is nothing, well, we have the stadium, <laughs> but uh, we don't have, uh, well, and, uh, the head coach, who is very important, but we have uh, no players. Uh, we need to build also the staff uh, to control the business operation of the, of the team. And uh, aside from that, uh, uh, we're starting from the scratch. So uh, I think it's going to be very important to see where we are in the first days and uh, to be uh, realistic. But in the future, we, we want to achieve everything. We heard that uh, it is a huge fan base in soccer here in Ottawa. So uh, we want to make like a big call up to all of them. And uh, we also want to learn from them because uh, we were very surprised uh, uh, the way they support the team in the past, okay? Not just here in Ottawa, in all the Canadian Premier League. So we want to work with them in order to build uh, the, um, the fan culture. Uh, we want to give also some taste of Atletico de Madrid feeling and experience 
like the one that we have at uh, our stadium, Wanda Metropolitano, to try to replicate like the same atmosphere, the same feeling. But uh, I think that we need to sit with them, to hear them, to talk with them, to see what they really need, and they really uh, are waiting for the club to be supporting with, and start from there. I think the first thing that they are going to feel is uh, the jersey. I think that uh, when you wear the red and white stripes jersey, I think that uh, at least for me and for all the Atletico de Madrid supporters, uh, you feel something different. Uh, it is true that uh, when you see our supporters, uh, and this is not because I'm Atletico, uh, all the crowd uh, cheers the, the, the team on a different way. Uh, if you attend other games in other stadiums, you can see that the crowd are maybe more quiet, uh, more respectful. Our guys are cheering all during all the game. So um, uh, we want to take also this here and uh, we want that the players also live this in Madrid and uh, to take part of our methodology, our passion, sacrifice, hard work, uh, team spirit, winning spirit, all the kind of things uh, we are going to show you because they are going to train with Atletico de Madrid coaches. They are going to be supported by, by our people in Madrid, by the headquarters. There are more than, than 700 people working in, uh, in Madrid. They are going to be supporting this team. So it's like a full, uh, full club. One of the things that we noticed uh, at the beginning, for example, is that the calendar on the Indian Super League perfectly fits with the calendar of the Canadian Premier League. Uh, and then when the season is over there, it's uh, starting here. So for example, we have like, uh, I think, uh, five Spanish players there. Uh, one of them is a uh, Atletico de Madrid uh, former player, striker. So uh, that is one of the chances that we have also to bring it here, okay? And to be part of like a full season calendar playing. In the case of Mexico, I think that the level of the competition right now is a little bit different. Uh, first division Mexico with the Canadian Premier League. But uh, we will see because uh, it's obvious that uh, it's also interesting for the players and for its development to be part of different teams uh, all under the same structure and the same uh, brand.